Hey guys and welcome to the last video in this tutorial series. Now we covered every single feature of the Ventus Director that may help you with driving your own show. In this video we will have a look at how to build your own plugins to extend the functionality of the Director or make things during showtime even more comfortable. Before starting to program a plugin we should have a look at how to manage ready to use plugins. Plugins are delivered as a DLL, a dynamic link library. To make a plugin available, you need to copy that DLL to the plugins folder in your Ventus installation directory. If that folder does not exist yet, you can simply create it. Now when you open Director, it will search for and load all DLLs in that folder and try to interpret them. If a DLL holds a plugin, it will be listed in the Plugins Manager, which you can access in the menu bar under Show Plugins. Every check plugin will be used in the Director. There are three types of plugins. The first one is the window provider, which will enable you to add a new window with a new functionality to your window layout. You can then create the window in the window manager like any other window in the director. The second type is the channel rule provider. It can be used to add new channel rule conditions and actions to the director. Whenever director queues new content, the channel rules are applied to check certain conditions and decide if a specified action should be taken. Those conditions and actions can be customized so it fits your needs. For example, you can write an action that will update a database whenever a specific page is queued. The last plugin type extends the shot box. It will add a new entry in the shot box that the operator can search for. When selecting a plugin in the shot box, it will either return a URI and lets director handle it like any other item one can select in the shot box or it performs its own actions. So much to installing a plugin and to the different types of plugins you can use in the director. This is basically all you need to know to use plugins in director. Everything else will be a consequence of how the specific plugin works. From now on we will have a look at the programming side, which will get a lot more technical. Firstly we will have a look at the development environment. The main requirement is an installation of Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 Express or higher, since the Director SDK is built against the .NET version 4.5. We recommend to use a professional version of the Visual Studio, since you can then use a project template we provide for the development of Director plugins. You should also have some basic knowledge of C Sharp or Visual Basic and an idea of the Windows Presentation Foundation framework. Last you should have a working Ventus Director installation in which you can find the Visual Studio extension file you can use with a professional edition of Visual Studio. Now let's take a look at setting up the project. After installing the Visual Studio extension you are able to create a project of the type Ventus Director plugin. When doing so you can see a dialog opening up which will give you several options to change the initial project setup. The display name and description will be visible later in the director, so make them fit for an end user of your plugin. The checkboxes affect the classes that will be created and the interfaces that will be implemented by them. They fit the three types of plugins we discussed earlier. Lastly, you can specify the path of your Ventus Director installation. Whenever you start to debug, the director will start up, assuming the current plugin to be installed and loaded into the show. This makes it as easy as hitting F5 to start debugging the plugin. When the project creation is done, you will see the default classes of the plugin project. The plugin.cs is the most important one since it tells the director that it is a plugin and which kind of plugin it provides. Each plugin needs to specify several export options like the display name and the description we defined earlier. Most importantly, it needs to be exported as an iPlugin type. Also, a plugin must implement the iPlugin interface or derived interface. Otherwise, the director will not find the plugin. So much for the basic setup of a Ventus Director plugin. If you want to start programming a specific plugin, you should have a look at the Director user manual. On the plugins page, you can find a much more detailed documentation and a guide on how to start programming plugins for your show. For now, we leave it as it is, as you have a rough idea of where to start. So this ends our Director tutorial series. Now you should have a good idea of what the Director is capable of and how to use it to its full potential. Still, it might be helpful for you to read the user manual, since there are some topics that are covered there a lot more detailed. Also, you might have a look at some topics which originally regarded the Ventus designer. Knowing how to create a project and designer that can be used as a basis for a show might be good to know as well. We hope you will find the director just as useful and powerful as the rest of our products. 
We are looking forward to hear from your projects you realized with the director and to get some feedback from you. So see you then. Bye.